Let us now look at part three and explore the relevance and application of the different levels of reality to change management. What is the relevance of this research framework? It is our experience that there is an increasing awareness of the wholeness of life and the need to cooperate across scientific disciplines in most universities. Typically, this takes the form of interdisciplinary research. Interdisciplinarity implies that two or more disciplines look at a phenomenon of shared interest and apply the knowledge of their discipline to it. This is a bottom-up approach in the sense that new emergent disciplines or knowledge can arise from the interaction of these two or more disciplines. An example would be neuropsychology, which arose from the interest of brain research as well as psychological research about mind functioning. We suggest that the wholeness of life does not only need interdisciplinary research, but also requires transdisciplinary research. On the one hand, transdisciplinary research applies research across different scientific disciplines from the top-down perspective of generic systems principles that are derived from a holistic meta-theory such as biometric theory and that apply to the functioning of all systems at all levels and that explore their interaction and the emergence arising from this interaction across different levels. On the other hand, transdisciplinary research also means that uh, there is research across the different levels of systems realities that we have been discussing in this presentation. This implies induction from physical and consciousness realities as well as deduction from conceptual reality. It may be necessary to make a note on terminology here. The terms meta and trans mean the same, namely beyond, whereby meta is the Greek and trans is the Latin version of that word. So one could use the two words interchangeably. However, some scientific circles use them in specific contexts. They use trans when they refer to the transdisciplinary debate and to meta when they speak of the theory, the meta theory or even the meta discipline that guides a transdisciplinary debate. The benefit of augmenting disciplinary and interdisciplinary research through transdisciplinarity implies that new generic research questions are added that can contextualize the research and also explore the underlying assumptions of the research. It also adds generic methodologies about how systems can be improved, that is referred to as problem solving, and how systems can be transformed, referring to problem dissolving. It also adds generic management approaches within and between the systems of the natural, techno and psychosociosphere. And it provides some generic methods that are applicable at the different levels of systems reality that we have been discussing. Let us briefly look at transdisciplinarity from a different levels of reality. Each level of system reality has its own change management methods as well as generic leadership approach. Some examples are the following. Managing change interventions in physical reality typically involves improvements of the existing system as we observe it, such as solving its problems. To operate from the level of knowledge of physical reality, 
implies working with the current logic and parameters of the system. This is referred to as the problem-solving approach. The observation of current reality also provides us with an understanding of how systems interact and affect each other. It shows the dynamics of system interaction and typically systems dynamics models depict this. A leader who operates from this reality tends to solve problems and is action orientated. He or she will be successful in situations that demand problem solving, but will fail in situations that are more complex and that would require the transformation of the system or the dissolving of problems. To manage change based on the conceptual reality of a specific scientific discipline requires knowledge about the discipline. Any discipline provides generic understanding of the laws and principles of the functioning of the systems it studies. It also tends to prescribe generic interventions on the basis of this system functioning. In other words, the intervention stays within the parameters and logic of the theories associated with that discipline. Therefore, they represent a problem-solving approach. Leadership in a specific scientific domain requires that the leader has relevant scientific knowledge. Even if a thought leader manages to come up with new theories and change the paradigm of the discipline, the interventions that are prescribed on the basis of the new paradigm represent a problem-solving approach. To manage change from a transdisciplinary web perspective requires knowledge of biometrics theory. This web perspective adds generic principles of holistic system design of both activity and entity systems and their interaction to the discipline-related knowledge that is provided by the different disciplines connected to the interacting systems. For example, if we look at the nutrition supply chain, then there are specific scientific disciplines associated with different sections of the supply chain. We have agricultural disciplines looking at how food is being grown at the societal level. We have various uh, disciplines associated with the processing and distribution of food at the family level. We look at cooking and preparing food at the individual level. We look at eating it at the cellular level. We look at digesting it and so on. Leadership in redesigning a supply chain like nutrition involves facilitating the participation of the different stakeholders that are associated with the systems along the supply chain from the perspective of both the unique requirements and perspectives of each stakeholder as well as the generic organizing principles that guide the interaction of these stakeholders along the overarching supply chain. Managing change from a transdisciplinary field perspective implies understanding and, if necessary, changing the information that guides the form and functioning of the current system and its interaction with its stakeholders. To transform a system requires a fundamental change of the specific information and energy field of that system. Different types of systems allow different degrees of freedom in choosing new values. For example, psychological and social systems, in other words, cultural systems, as well as the designing of technological systems, allow a greater freedom of choosing new values and transforming the system than can be found in natural systems. 
The reason for that is that natural systems have evolved a relatively fixed functioning. Nevertheless, genetic engineering, for example, changes the underlying information of systems, often to such an extent that it implies a transformation of the system. Leadership from a transdisciplinary field perspective involves facilitating the exploration of the current values of the system and designing new values for it and its stakeholders. In social systems, this can involve models that describe generic patterns of values. For example, the four quadrant model based on left, right hemispheric and four and hind brain mind functioning is such a model. Another one would be the energy and information associated with the seven chakras or energy centers of the body or the spiral dynamics model amongst others. Managing change from consciousness reality implies that the system knows from which level of consciousness it acts. Different levels of consciousness provide different knowledge about the universe and also about different possibilities how to change it. The greater our self-awareness is and the more we can operate from the field of consciousness beyond space and time, the more creative we will be and the more we will experience synchronicity. Synchronicity refers to the seemingly miraculous coming together of apparently unconnected events that act in our favor and assist us in manifesting our intentions and our desires. There is also research on brain-mind functioning that indicates that different so-called paranormal abilities are associated with different levels of consciousness or brain-mind states. Leadership from the consciousness reality level is often associated with spiritual leadership. Such leadership can change the field of consciousness of uh, the systems around the leader and the leader can affect apparently miraculous happenings. There is also a very interesting study on the effect of different levels of consciousness by Stephen Hawkins, that is the biologist Hawkins and not the physicist. He describes those levels of consciousness and their effect on the systems around them in his book called Force versus Power.